Okay, here we are for a review of the first two episodes of Euphoria Season 2, Episodes 1 and 2. Um, and before we get cracking, can I just say, I've never heard such a loaded warning before a programme, other than when you were in Big Brother. I thought, I thought you were going to explain first why you've come as a reindeer. Uh, I've simply got this on because it's so nice hair. and cosy, and I've got a bad hair day. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's, I'm, not, I'm not approaching things in a light-hearted fashion, I'm just I'm not, not taking it seriously, but I'm just wearing a reindeer hat. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so this is season two of Euphoria. All the same characters are back. Obviously, it stars Zendaya as Rue. Um, there's a whole host of supporting character actors in there. Um, and the first se season really affected us, didn't it? It was yeah. a really meaningful show. Uh, why, why did we like it so much? How would you account for our love of it? I think, in my opinion, it's just like perfect. <laughs> yeah. Right down to like the way it's shot and the colours and the makeup and the music yeah. and the characters and the acting and... Yeah, the script. And, like, and the, and the really subject seems so close to home, yes. don't they? And, and, you know, very bravely, we all watched it together, didn't we, the three yeah, of us? And I was saying to, to Madam, oh, isn't it awful what it's like for these kids in America? She said, that's what it's like for all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so for, for me, it was a real insight into this generation. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, the show definitely takes extreme measure. <laughs> like, it, it yeah. goes to the extreme of what I think happens sure. on the low key to everybody. Yeah. But... Um, but I, I think one of the things that annoyed me the most when season one came out is everyone was like, there is there is no group of friends that all have problems. Like, there aren't that right. many messed up kids in one group That's in real life. Not. I'm like, oh, yeah, you'd be surprised. Are. Right, right. They were like, that, many, that, that amount of stuff can't happen to just like one yeah. group of people. And it's like, uh. I, I think it was, we were hit by how deliciously real it was. We, every single actor was in it, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. And the style, the st and let's not forget how much we loved, like the makeup, yeah, the, yeah, that's the yeah. style, yeah. Yeah. just everything about it was and just so slightly sort of, done. I like the fact that it, it wasn't at all afraid to sort of delve into magic realism. It would drift off into yeah, very yeah. sort of subjective. I mean, it was helped by the fact that there was a lot of drug taking in there. But I yeah. also loved how real it, like as a show, like including season two, like how mm. real it is. I mean, a lot of people were like, it just glamorizes like drug use and all of yeah, that kind yeah, of yeah. stuff but which it does but in a way that yeah when it is good that's what it's like but then they also show like how dark oh, and awful it is well, and also but well. my comeback on that and i've spoken to someone who said oh yeah but it you know it, it is a bit too glamorous it, it is also a drama yeah you know, so we're it's gonna the, look, we are in the business here of do making you a think it glamorized yeah well yeah but, totally no 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 but in that sense of it's over dramatic i mean there was a moment for example i mean we've watched episodes one or two they're, they're all that's landed and so, for example, the opening scene of episode one, which I have to say is probably one of the most arresting first yeah. 10 minutes of a show uh, involving... Now, if you're in any way squeamish or easily offended, don't watch it. There's an erect, Fast forward. Yeah, there's an erect minutes. penis in there. Well, there's a lot of violence. I think the violence. whole show you shouldn't really watch yeah. this show in general if that, you're uh, squeamish. Yeah, no, true. But in the first 10 minutes, it's quite literally in your face. Yeah. Um, and I suppose my point, as I was watching it, it struck me. I thought, well, hang on a minute. This has gone into the bounds of kind of Scorsese and Goodfellas. This, you know, I hope this isn't going to become sort of bogged down in drug sort of cartel -y kind of stuff because what I'm interested in is the reality of the, of the youngsters. Yeah. But then I stopped myself in that because I really like Fez, who's the main character, the drug dealer character. Mm. It started with his story. Exactly. It told his backstory of his grandmother. I mean, his grandmother. Totally, amazing. utterly <laughs> brilliant to be given that backstory of Fez. Yeah, she was, she was amazing oh, as well. The grandmother. Oh, and to see a staggeringly aggressive woman. cartel <laughs> woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, with absolutely. just enough kindness. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the origin story, let's not forget, of Ashtray. Yeah, I love Ashtray. That wonderful scene where, as a baby, he's in the fucking... That's why they called the him Ashtray, because he eats. He eats <laughs> amazing, brilliant. And I think it reminded me of what I thought the strength of the first season was. I don't know if you remember, each episode very much focused on one, one character, character, told yeah. their backstory and got us to speed. And I felt, in a weird way, this, this series, bar Fez's backstory has already got the freedom of being able to dovetail between all of their stories in equal measure. Yeah, yeah. So you've got that sense, it's almost like being plaited, isn't it, mm. together. Yeah. Um, was it too much for you, episode one? I mean, I know you're quite Well, squeamish. the first, was it the first five minutes, would you say? That's yeah, the first sequence, yeah. yeah. The first sequence was so gruelling. That's the word for me, gruelling. Yeah. So did you find it too much? Um, I think maybe if I hadn't had you two scowling at me and I didn't really <laughs> love series one, I might have backed down. Because right. my fear with it was like, oh, listen, we're not going to have non-stop gratuitous violent yeah, sex, are yeah, we? Because yeah. that's just too much. I can't watch it. But um, now, having watched the rest of the episode, it was just 
it just it was just a flamethrower, wasn't yeah. it? It just was just spectacular. I also found and, that first sequence... And it was relevant. It was really, really relevant yeah. to the horrors of, of the upbringing and everything. So mm. The first yeah. sequence was empowering, though. I mean, she walks, she struts through, like, a strip club yeah. and then shoots up the guy that, mm. like, runs But not her. the girl that was doing the blowjob. I mean, I, I, she, I thought of her when I went to bed last night. She didn't shoot her. No, but she was so traumatised. Well, of course. I, mean, I go so into people... mother mode. See, before I had children... All of this stuff I would have been like you lapping it up, but since I've had children, I'm so sensitive. Mm. But um, it was just an absolute roller coaster all the way through. I, I, I said with both episodes, didn't I? Totally faultless. Mm. I couldn't find a thing wrong with it mm. because the, the drama of it all. Yeah. You were on the edge of your seat, whether it was uh, whether it was about unrequited love, or whether mm. it was about teenage sex, or whether it was about cartel drug dealing, or whether mm. it's about a heroin addict. It didn't matter where we went, and we went all over mm. the, the place with it. We were on the edge of our seats. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought there was one particular scene in the first episode that I really liked, though like is a kind of word that you wouldn't really use to describe anything in the series that you like. It was just really watchable was the scene after, interestingly, spoiler alert, after Ash Gray hammer blows Mouse, mm. uh, who for us was the most petrifying character I in the first season. I was very glad that Mouse was murdered. Very pleased that Mouse was murdered. I was, was, dreading, mouse. Mouse. I was, worried about I was dreading Mouse because he frightened mouse. me too much in but the first But then quite series. rapidly, we're in a new drug, drug, drug dealing scene. Sorry. But quite rapidly, we're in a new drug dealing scene where we've got an ex-history teacher who's a cartel Boss, <laughs> yeah, she did. Coupled with the Love bald man, the softest, softest voice. voice. It, it was a bit reminiscent of Ozark, which yes. is another yes. one of our absolute favourites. In yeah. fact, we, I got to the end of it, didn't I? I said it's it is they're of that calibre, they're the same calibre. But I particularly like the dancing as he gets them all to strip, actually, not in a sexual with a sexual motive, but to make sure they're not wired. Wasn't that brilliant? Well, that that it wasn't, so, wasn't it well, brilliant, brilliant that it didn't end up in rape? Absolutely, and in a way, it was chilling. Also, in please, way. Maddie, because Maddie saw it before us, yeah. Maddie said to you, Don't worry, mum, there's no rape there. Because I think I might have pulled out in that scene if yeah. I thought she was going to be raped in the shower. But I thought the guy, the guy in that, I thought for me, the best moment for me in this episode was that scene because it took me totally, I haven't seen anything that reminded me of David Lynch's Blue Velvet for discomfort where he was dancing, the bald guys, they were all getting undressed oh, and you're yeah. like, oh, where's this going to go? Where's this going to go? And really clever drama making because yeah. most directors would have put a rape scene in with that. Absolutely, yeah. those girls were stripped naked, there would have been some sex. But actually, they terrified us in exactly the same way as if they had. Because, of course, it could have turned that way. But we didn't see it. No. And they didn't show it. No. And it, it, well, didn't happen. it, was just it didn't like, happen. It didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. Just, so mm. it just didn't happen. Because mm. it doesn't always need to happen. Those girls were degraded. They were, mm. you know, it was a shameful and awful. Mm. But it doesn't always have to end I up I thought like the that. blonde girl with the really big lips. The oh, my God. Addict, she's she's a guilty she's pleasure. A, she's such a good... She's new such a cracking actress. And I mean, it's so sad what's happening to her character, and yet what she manages to do is she she carries humour yes, within her demise. You know, it's just. I mean, she's vile. Yeah. But she's, and you don't feel sorry really for her addiction, do you? It's well, very I strange. Do. I no, do. No, it's kind of strange what she's doing. It's it is a very odd. good character. Yeah. Because she's just nasty enough, and then she, and then she's more pathetic. What's I don't know what it is about. I'm really yeah. excited to see the way it goes, but there's something. I think she'll end up dying. To be honest, I think. I think no, I've got. I I know, they got... might go counterintuitive with it. Yeah, maybe. Mm. She um, could end up coming. Is going to get caught. She could end up becoming a so. dealer. Yeah, yeah. A very dangerous deal. Or she could, end, she, could end, she could end up about. dying under Fez's watch. And this no, is yeah, I think she's going to get caught in some crossing yeah. because there's a lot building with Fez's, yes. Fez and Nate's dad as well. Exactly. It's a beautiful scene Tension. between Fez and a sort Lexi. of a, and Lexi. Lexi, Lexi, who's who's quite the studious bookworm type. She's Rue's best friend, isn't she? Yeah, that's yeah. what people were already upset with season one because she was apart from Fez was like one of the only characters that didn't get any backstory, right. any kind of. Yeah, we didn't really know much about her at all, but everybody, even remember everybody it. loves her. Like, they really want her own Yeah, season. yeah. She's a lovely, she's got a lovely demeanour about her. She's really lovely. lovely actress. She's Cassie's sister in it as well. That's but yeah, right, she's that's Ruth's right. friend from primary school. Yeah. She's a lovely actress. She has a lovely way about her. And I found that scene a really beautiful, romantic mm, scene. Two, you wouldn't it? expect. No, one. Oh, this was episode In one. the middle of a party between her and a drug addict, drug dealer, with all kinds of hell going on around in that party. And then to see when he jumped up and nearly killed. Oh, my God. I mean, it was just... It's just so extraordinary, that scene and the way that it ended. Well, I think Fez is such a complex character. Isn't I think he? He's one of your favourites, isn't he, Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think he's one of mine. And I think he's one of the kindest in the show. And that's the irony, is that the kindest character finds himself in the most brutal career. But just but like all his the, grandmother, just saving like the, all these children, yeah. but shooting kneecaps off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I loved it. But yeah, there's, I don't know, there's, uh, because even with Fez, like, if he does get violent or does, like, what he did mm. to Nate, it, 
in his eyes it's for a good reason and yeah, like yeah, yeah. he's not being a bad person really well and also <laughs> to be fair with his low-key mate design. Yeah. Yeah. it's business yeah but to it's be fair even Lexi but some of the other kids kind of know that too because they yeah. know Nate as an untrustworthy bastard yeah that's why know. no one wanted to turn on Furs that people really yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate is so vile so of course I forgot you're right so yeah so episode one ends with all that sort of him punching him almost to death doesn't it well so we've got the whole um, Cassie and Nate uh, storyline going on which yeah which Maybe really you guys don't remember much of them from season one, but that's like a big deal for right. all, all the young Euphoria watchers. It's oh, like, are they? Cassie and Nate, like, what? Well, Not Cassie's... People hate Cassie. Cassie. But Cassie's, didn't. Cassie's running the risk of aggravating a very, very potentially angry young woman. Well, Maddie. people are really hating Cassie's character from this season already. Because oh, right, right. it's, like, gone past the point of her being just, like, vulnerable and a bit silly. She's now just being, like... Yeah, a stupid and a bad friend yeah yeah bad friend I mean that's pretty much what episode 2 pivoted girl around code. most didn't it girl code there was a lot about her and then there was a lot I about I liked the stuff along the lines of I'll never what's the girl with the dark hair Maddie but Maddie I mean, of course you can remember yeah. that I've got a dark beautiful Maddie thing. Um, you know around her talking about I because I think it's a really good thing to, to, for a theme to have like the bad boy lover right. and her questioning that and, and like getting triggered by good relationships and oh, her being drawn back to Nate right. and her just like not really knowing why but she's mm. questioning why she's drawn back to the bad guy mm. so I think that's because obviously don't forget in season one thing. there was that awful um, scene where Nate grabs Maddie by the neck course, and bruised yeah. her and then he got like arrested and all of that that's right. so a lot of people are hating on Cassie's character because obviously Cassie knows about all of that happening to Maddie yet still chooses today yes. but she makes bad choices yeah, what yeah. she says yeah, yeah so episode Friends two was exes. very much more about the relationships wasn't it and, and so you also had Rue's relationship with Jules that was kind of getting complicated because Rue connected with the guy who you know is a singer at the party. Dominic Fike. I'm he, so happy about he's him. So nice. He's so nice. He's lovely. He's quite lovely. Me and Kiki are getting so annoyed because he's kind of like a precious find and now right. he's becoming oh, like Oh, now he's everyone. He's yours. Yeah. Oh, now everyone's oh, showing I, can, I get that. <laughs> and then, of course, Nate, as you say, Nate and Cassie's relationship is kind of on the ascendant and Maddie now kind of wants to get back in there or does she want to get back in? I mean, what is going to happen there? I've got, She's definitely wants him back. I've got one back. querulous feeling which has crept into me in these two episodes, and you'll be, it might shock you both. I'm not entirely convinced by Zendaya's portrayal of herself on drugs. I'm slightly finding her overplaying it a bit. And I'm not finding, whereas in the first season, I felt, because maybe she was on the start of her drug journey, she kind of was quite authentic, because maybe in real life she hasn't had that much experience of drugs. I just found at times a little bit, she was... Playing to the camera. Over, yeah, she was overdoing it. That's interesting because I know so many people that are just like that. Are they? Drugs. <laughs> yeah. I know just, what you mean. I, I, think and I just had a moment of that. I think I it's a difference though because, right. like, obviously in season one, she is kind of like she just come out of re being in rehab for a very long time. Yes. Like she'd been sober and then kind of hopped back yeah, onto yeah. it again. And I think like. I think a lot of people are getting too kind of um, comfortable with the how the characters were in season one and right. not being willing enough to see their character Move development on. in season That's two. And I think Rue's development is just that she's getting even more lost in it, that she's now like right. fully encompassed in the drug use. Right. Whereas in season one, she was trying a lot harder to kind of... Yeah. She didn't really fully go in. Like, obviously she was doing drugs, yeah. but she didn't allow herself to fully fall into it. Okay. Because Jules left, yeah. she was then able to. So I feel of... like it's just a different type of addiction. Right. Very, very yeah. good point. Yeah, I think you have point. to allow, a bit like being a parent, when you have to allow your children to grow up. And that's kind of the thing with the characters, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah they are too. growing up. And then, of course... Now, the... I wanted Julia's... No, what's Jules. Jules's Jules. old makeup. So yeah, I you weren't you were particularly happy with her. Maddie said to me, she's changing as a person. I'm like, mm, I still like her a lot. Right. Yeah, but I thought Jules seemed a lot softer than she did in season one. She's gone she seems hard vulnerable. The end of season she has one. gone hard between season, the end one, of season yeah, one. Yeah, but that was because she was like kind of suffocated in a relationship right. with Rue and kind yeah. of felt like she was the only reason why Rue was going to stay clean. And then it was yeah. the whole like feels responsible because like, as soon as she left, she relapsed. And yeah. I think she felt like she had to get harder. Yeah. because she thought that that's what she needed to do for Rue and now she just doesn't want to be that hard. Right, person. right. And then of course... Bear in mind, they're all 16, 17. Yeah, so no, absolutely. They're all like... <laughs> they're very young. Going through it. Yeah. Um, and then of course we've got Nate, uh, who obviously has had his face pulverised. He's also now, uh, you know, having this sort of on-off fling, wants to push her to arm's length with Cassie, but still wants to have his way with her. I think Nate, the actor, is incredible. He is because, incredible, because you hate him. Yeah, because the, the first like proper thing that he was in that everybody knew him from was Kissing Booth on Netflix, which oh, is a right. really like, Huge bad... Help comedy yeah, but romance massively thing popular, and he's it? like really, he's really lovely in it but it's just crazy to see how he can just be so terrifying in right. this show he's terrifying he it's terrifying. like he's terrifying but in real life he's just the nicest what about that guy awful scene where he was yeah, leaning, leaning over the young guy okay. where did you put where it where did you put it, it? what did you do oh 
oh god, so expensive. horrible, so horrible. So and then, of but course, it's, it's so good as well. You for it showing that kind of pressure, like yeah. uh, between boys, between boys, between boys yeah. because yeah. that guy McKay is actually a really sweet guy. Yeah, you're right. But I don't know if you remember in season one there was that really horrible scene where they were all kind of yeah. getting him to have sex yes. with Cassie, yeah. and he was yes. kind of going along with it, but felt uncomfortable. That's, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. it's just. I don't, you don't really see like other shows show the peer pressure between boys between when it comes men. to sexual stuff. No, you're right. Like, and also show the peer pressure. A lot of them actually don't want to do the yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's not yeah, the yeah, absolutely. Focus, you're right, you focus a lot on the girls. Yeah. yeah. And finally, obviously, where episode two ended was such a kind of clinching moment, brilliant, dramatic, sort of, ooh, which was Nate's confrontation with his father. And of course, from season one, Nate's father so is having sex with Had sex young, with Jules. Had sex with Jules. I, I mean, didn't yeah. tell her that he filmed it. Yeah, exactly. And so there's the tape, and Maddie, Maddie has a copy of Maddie it. Maddie has the, uh, the only the tape. Only copy. Oh, and that was such a great ending. But and that's, you that's felt the sorry whole... for Nate. Yeah. Oh, I love oh, Nate in the end. Do you yeah. want me to actually tell you? To be Press honest, like, like I hate him. I really yeah. hate him. He's yeah. evil. But there was also that part in season one where everybody kind of saw the like what child the monster. of him. Yeah, because yeah. also we like his backstory as well. That when he was like really really young, he found all of his dad's videos. Yeah. Was oh, just, I mean, like, his dad is brutal. And he was like completely traumatized yeah. by all the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yeah, there was just that scene in season one where him and his dad had the big fight, and then he ends up having like a. Some kind of seizure That's from right. the stress. Uh, right. and I don't believe people are born evil. I think no, terrible no. no, I don't think he is. I think terrible things terrifying. happen to good people. I'm so glad Fez mashed his face. Up. And so, in summary, is it living up to expectations? Well, actually, it's a good point. When you look, when you parallel Fez and Nate, and you think what Fez has gone through, yeah, exactly, a lot worse. Than well, it just shows you, yeah, 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 exactly. Where's nature? Where's nurture? Mm. Mm, that's a bit, a bit troubling. And is it living up to your expectations? For me, oh, I feel oh, anxious about every I'm, single I'm character. I'm so anxious. It's, yeah. it's like gone. It's more, it's better than I expected it really? to be, and I expected it to be amazing. So, right. yeah, you expect it to be knocked off the edges a bit, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I'm always wary of a season two just because yeah. I feel like another season we get scared of season two. But I'm, I am, I was so stressed because yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd watched I'm, I'm, it before. I've watched episode one twice, and so much with you yeah. second time, and the second time was just as stressed just as, as I was. The first <laughs> day, even though I knew she was, was so happen. sweet, she kept saying, It's okay, mom, you might think the rape's gonna happen here, but it's not. She's yeah. like. <laughs> and just finally a quick shout out Kat's character providing some much needed I thought comic she's fantastic oh, comic she's let so out so with her sort of being in love you know her real name is Barbie oh is it is really yeah. oh wow oh yeah Barbie Barbara yeah. okay well there you go two Brilliant. episodes we'll Watch be reviewing it. all the others but not if you've got a weak stomach no <laughs>